Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Cullum Costello. Thank you so much for tuning in the video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a company called Luminar. Luminar is a LiDAR company. It's a play on autonomous vehicles or vehicle autonomy. There's a big race to see who has the first auton totally autonomous vehicle. So let's see if this company is going to be one of the big name players. It's trading right now under ticker symbol GMHI, Gores Metropolis, special purpose acquisition company. With that being said, I'm not a financial advisor by any means, and these are strictly my opinions and for fun and educational purposes only. So let's take a look at ticker symbol GMHI or Luminar LiDAR and see if it's one you might want to dip your toes in. To understand what Luminar does, you have to understand what LiDAR is. Uh, what LiDAR is, it's a me method for measuring distances by illuminating a target with laser light, and then they measure the reflection with a sensor. Differences in laser return times and wavelengths can then be used to make a digital 3D representation of the target. Cool. It is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the founder and the CEO. This kid founded Luminar when he was 16 years old. This kid's a genius, Austin Russell. Uh, he developed a new technology for Luminar using lasers. Instead of radio waves. Here's Austin Russell, the founder of Luminar. Uh, if you go on to read, this is out of Forbes magazine. It, it's an article from back about 2018, I believe. But if you go on to read, it says Luminar was founded in 2012 when Russell was only 16 years old and studying at the Beckman Laser Institute at the University of California, Irvine. Pretty amazing for a 16-year-old kid. Another cool thing about this is when it changes from ticker symbol GMHI sometime in quarter four, Q4, it's going to become ticker symbol LAZR or laser. So pretty cool ticker symbol. Easy to remember. Here's the definitive agreement between Gores and Luminar. And it tells you how uh, the name will remain Luminar Technologies and listed on NASDAQ under the new ticker symbol LAZR. So for those of you that don't know what a SPAC is or a special purpose acquisition company, it's a blank check company that raises money to reverse merge with another company, bringing that company publicly traded or IPOing. As you can see, the SPAC company, Gores Metropolis, it looks like their management knows what they're doing and knows how to move the things right along as they have brought three companies public before. Hostess, a pretty big company, also Vera Mobility and PAE. This is basically a timeline for Luminar. If you look down below, it says their business. And as you scroll down there, you can see they're already working with Toyota and Volvo, some very big names in the automotive industry. Um, and up top, you see products, and you can see basically a string of their products and what they're doing along those lines also. It says down below, a 350-plus team across a global footprint. Um, so these guys are already working with some big names. In my opinion, these are going to be one of the number one players, if not the top player in LiDAR technology anyway. Again, it's very early. I mean, we're talking far out here before we see the, a lot of these cars on the road. So who knows what could happen between now and a few years from now when this becomes, you know, what we see more and more in every day. So this is early, uh, and there are many companies. Of course, there's a lot of competition working in this technology, trying to put these cars on the road and be the number one name in autonomy, level five. I mean, you got Graph right now that's merging with Velodyne. This is basically the number one competitor for Luminar. In my opinion, I do believe Luminar is a little bit better technology, and I, I think they have a, a step up on Graph or, or Velodyne. Uh, but that's just my opinion once again. So you see there, the world's first autonomous solution for series production across all verticals. Just think of the possibilities if Luminar, which is, in my opinion, one of the, the big players, it's going to be a big player in this. They, the technology they have right now looks to be a little bit better than the next guys. But being a big name in this trucking and this robo-taxi that's going to go on in a few years to come, the autonomy, once we get to level five, this is just going to be huge. If Luminar stakes their claim right now and becomes a big name in, in this industry, they're looking pretty good in a few years. So this is their growth projection. It says large total addressable market with significant expected long-term growth. As you can see it under the large, uh, Luminar total addressable market vertical in billions. I mean, look at the... This is, of course, this is just a projection. It's not anything 
carved in stone that this is definitely going to happen, but this is projected to be a massive industry. This is Luminar's current and target partner ecosystem. You can see some big partners down there and some big target partners down there. So let me know down below what you think of Luminar, if you're already invested in GMHI, or if you're going to wait till the merger happens and it becomes ticker symbol LAZR. I'm Colm Costello. I thank you very much for tuning into the video. Now hit that subscribe button, tap that thumbs up, and go out and get money.